Hey everyone, it's Summer from Canova, and this is Shed Testing for Ball Python Morphs Explained. Traditionally, the only way to determine what morphs were in your snakes was either through visual identification or in the case of het recessives, really reliable breeding records. Without those two things, you would have to wait years to prove out the genetics via breeding yourself and evaluating the offspring. But now companies like Rare Genetics Inc can use the DNA in your snake's shed to determine whether or not they carry certain mutations. As of this recording, there are tests available for clown, lavender, piebald, candy, toffee, hypo, yellow belly, spark, specter, asphalt, gravel, and now desert ghost. And Rare Genetics is constantly focused on developing more tests for additional mutations, so that list is just going to keep getting longer and longer. So now the question is, should you test your snakes? Let's look at a few scenarios where genetic testing is really useful. Number one is if you have an animal that is possible het. So that means that one or both of the parents of your snake was heterozygous for a recessive mutation. In the past, the only way to prove out a possible het would have been to breed it, but now you can have it determined genetically with this shed testing immediately and know for sure right off the bat. A second situation in which you might wanna test your snakes is if they have an unknown background. Maybe you purchase the animal locally at a reptile show on Craigslist, and you just don't have any history on that snake. And it can be really hard to tell what mutations are in a snake when you don't know the parents. So if that's the case, you can run a full panel test that'll test for all the currently available mutations and find out any of the ones that your snakes test positive for or negative for to narrow down your options and get a better idea for what you're working with. Another reason that it's sometimes hard to identify snakes visually is that some mutations are just the same in terms of their expression phenotypically. You can't tell with a naked eye whether or not it's this gene or that gene that's creating this effect. So for instance, the case of the yellow belly complex, we have yellow belly, asphalt, and gravel. They all look the same in their single gene form. So if you have an animal that looks like it's yellow belly or gravel or asphalt, but you just don't know which one, you can use these tests to determine and know for sure. And last but not least, there are so many ball python mutations that sometimes the combos just get too crazy. The genes interact in a way that we weren't expecting and it can kind of cover up or override other mutations and it gets really hard to know exactly what's going on. So if you end up with a snake that you've produced that is just a little bit too wild and you wanna make sure that you're getting it right, you can use these tests to help you figure out what's going on. So how do you actually go about sending in your snake shed for testing? The first thing you're gonna to need to do is wait for your snake to shed. So you're gonna to wanna to watch your snake closely and identify their next shed cycle so that you can be ready to collect their shed as soon as possible. You wanna make sure the sample is clean and clear of any feces, urine, or other stuff that might make it a little bit gross and hard for the test to be performed successfully. After you collect the shed, you wanna lay it on a flat surface and let it dry fully for a day or two. After it's dry, you're gonna take a quarter size piece. Now, you don't need the whole shed, just a little bit, about the size of a quarter. And you're gonna put that into a Ziploc or an envelope, something that'll keep it safe. And you wanna make sure you label it really specifically with the animal's ID number or name or however you identify it, as well as the test you wanna perform on it. And then you just need to order your tests. You can order shed tests from Rear Genetics on Clutch. All you have to do is create a free account log in and navigate to the shed testing page where you can select the reptiles you wanna test, choose the test you wanna perform and check out. Then you just need to mail in your sample and wait for the results. As soon as RGI receives your shed, you'll get a notification in the app letting you know, and then another notification when those results are in. And you'll know for sure what morphs they have and what they don't. So it's really as simple as that. Wait for the shed, collect it, send it in and get ready to discover what your snakes have been hiding. All right, so that's it. That's how you can use genetic shed testing to determine what morphs your wall python carries. We have tested over a thousand of our snakes here at Canova and it has been so useful to find out for sure what mutations our snakes carry. And we hope that you find this new tool useful too. Let us know in the comments below, have you had your snakes tested yet? And if so, what did you find out? Thanks so much to all of our patrons for joining up. Be sure to check out the Canova University where we're gonna dive a little deeper into this topic this month. And we will see you next time in another episode of Hetflix. Thanks.